Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Rise Zone of Rome. I remember this game being shown when they presented the Xbox One, the original one, it was a while ago, and under to a comment I remember that this game actually existed. It's from Crytek, so it uses CryEngine, and the game still looks very good, at least in my opinion. But I remember when I first tried it on my 750Ti, the game ran at 30 frames per second, and I wanted to see how affordable GPUs run it today, and I have to say I'm very impressed. In the graphic settings you have texture quality that you cannot change, it selects the option for you by seeing your VRAM amount, so in this case it's very high, which is the maximum. Then if you want to improve performance, make sure to disable the temporal anti-aliasing, and then lower shading, shadows and particles together. The object detail should also help out a little bit, but I'll lower that as a last resort. Just shading shadows and particles together should be just fine to get the performance that you're looking for. You will see that at 1440p, especially if you want 60 frames per second. You have to lower those in groups to around normal or low. And the game still looks very good despite being dramatically lowered settings. But there's a big issue that I noticed. The game stutters quite a bit, especially on NVIDIA GPUs. I tried using faster CPUs, but the problem was still happening. In some specific parts, when you move the camera very fast, the game will just slow down for a second or two and then go back to the frame rate that it was. On the AMD cards it also happened, but it wasn't as noticeable. The game doesn't just stop very quickly. So yeah, something to keep in mind. And the testing methodology was in chapter 4, since there were a lot of trees, foliage, enemies, effects on screen, so it should be a good stress test. It has all the demanded things on screen, so in other levels expect significantly higher performance, especially in the ones that there is little to no foliage. That was usually my experience playing this game, and so far it ran just fine, you can max it out on 1080p, then if you want 60 so at 1440p just lower the settings, or you can just max it out at 1440p and be over 30 frames per second. You can even do 4K with some compromises, like the frame rate, you have to target 30 frames with some drops into the upper 20s, but it makes sense, it's 4K resolution. But it still blows my mind that affordable GPUs like this can now run this game flawlessly, when a few years ago it was very difficult to get 60 frames on 1080p. So yeah guys, that's about it, I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time, stay safe! Send him to his grave! <laughs> <laughs> Think someone's coming? If it's a legion, we'd have heard them by now. Just relax. Hello? What's this then? Looking for your aqueduct, Roman? Did you misplace it somewhere, eh? You need to be a bit more thirsty for more. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's one! <laughs> <laughs> 
Think someone's coming? It's a legion, we'd have heard them by now. Just relax. Hello! What's this? Battle my kin! Deep. 
better. Think someone's coming? If it's a legion, we'd have heard them by now. Just relax. Death to the invaders! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 